Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to add custom cards to Vehicle Shop. And first thing you want to do is load Vehicle Shop obviously into the server and then ensure it in your server config. Make sure that's done. And then you want to import the uh, SQL so you have um, you'll have vehicles, you'll have owned vehicles, yada yada. Okay, so go to the owned vehicles, go to your vehicle section, and now what I do, <clears throat> I know a lot of people have problems with this where they'll mess with this, and it uh, the vehicles are are invisible or you don't see any. So what I'm gonna do is try to show you how to fix that. Okay, so you want to leave at least one vehicle in each column. I notice if you take one out, like if you remove sedans, you remove off-road, you remove, there will be problems. So best bet is just to leave. This is a custom, so we're gonna leave DLC as well. So what I do, we'll check all of them, and then we take one van, which is is that the last van? We'll take the last one. Take one van, we'll take one SUV, we'll take one super, take that sport classic, we'll take the sport, it, whoop, let's do the other one, make it cleaner, right, that's the sport, yeah, sedan, we'll grab this last sedan here, go to the off-road, chick chang Grab muscle, take that one. Motorcycle, grab one of those. Um, this DLC, <coughs> these are some video or some cards from the actual um, GTA's DLC, so we'll leave some of those. We'll leave one so I don't mess the database up. You can add columns. Or you can add vehicle categories, just don't take any away. Uh, okay, so cool. And then let's grab one of these. So let's now delete this. And that should be one of each car. And the only car, I, I, I <clears throat> don't have any cars on here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. We're just going to do one that I have on here, the police car. Which is going to be, we'll just name it police charger which I already have in there and then it's gonna be pull three we'll leave it as a compact and we'll leave it as a as a eighteen hundred eighteen thousand dollar car okay so we have oh well, I have the compact uh, eventually you can just copy over these <clears throat> um, as long as you've copied one and you keep at least one of the the categories okay so you don't want to delete these and not have a compact category or at least a compact car, you'll get a nil value. Oh. Okay, so that's only a $520 bike. Interesting. Okay, I'm just double checking here. So, okay, that looks good. Now go to essential mode. I mean, it's only called essential mode because I'm lazy. It's actually not essential mode. Um. Okay, I want to go to vehicle categories. You just want to make sure you got them all. Boom. Okay, so you should be good to go. Let's see what we got going on here. This is, oh, this is my other server. We're going to go back to the C drive. And we're going to go back to my server. And we want to start this Betty up. Uh, again, looking for errors. Oops, there are none. Oops. And we will start 5M. <clears throat> and if we're lucky, we will have that car. And now I'll show you how to add more. Whoop. I know that I had some serious problems with this when I first started. This and uh, the garage systems. Messing with version 1.1. Yeah. I guess. 
Yes, yes, so that, that other one didn't want to. Okay, so let's get, let's get down here. Okay, let's go check this moth go. This is actually my new, uh, my new server. And there you go. And you should be able to go to your compacts. And there's your boost charger. You can now purchase that. Okay, so now to repeat the process, you would just repeat the process. Uh, vehicles, and then, so say you want to add another supercar, you got a Lambo you want to add. You would just find your super, copy, do your Lamborghinis, Lambo, I've already had a ton. My other server, uh, uh, what is the Ventador? Um, I don't know. What the spawn name is but whatever i'm not gonna do it so you put your spawn name you put your price keep it super boom should show up here and and it also show up in the game so eventually you can overwrite the ones that you left if you don't want any of the gta cars in the game like i don't ever want any gta cars in my game so these will all eventually get swapped out. Once you have a double category, once you have at least one of your new cars in each of the categories, then you can actually start um, just copying over the other ones. Like, see, now that I have the police charger and compacts, um, I can just copy uh, this this car out of here or delete it. But I wouldn't delete it. I'd just probably copy and then just change the name and change the model. But yeah, so there you go. Should be good. I think we're good, yeah. And again, you can add. You can add uh, categories. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but uh, most of the time you can add categories, like I did, and you'll be fine. Like, but again, just don't delete them. I don't know if it, if if you can or not. I just know that when I delete them, it fucks me up. So I just don't delete them. This these are my categories. And then you can actually make the DLC one in Patreon or whatever you're doing. Okay, peace.